section 321. We're just walking to show us what you got. There you go. She can turn. She can walk. We got her for fashion shows. There we go. And I want you to stop. Now turn on. Give me three poses with your outfit. Like you're showing your outfit. You got pockets. Pockets. Use the pockets. Oh, there's one. That's okay. Perfect. Now the reason I have you do this, and this is homework for you, start looking in the newspapers and um, you know on your Sunday papers, and, and because when you're in front of a photographer, they're not going to tell you what to do. They may help you getting your photo shoot, but when you're with a real shoot and you're getting $500 an hour or $300 an hour, they want to see you move. So start practicing your moves with different outfits. Make sure you can keep moving with different poses. Even if you drop an arm, if it's just, you know, slight move is another pose. Basically what you're doing is you're And action height, we're back. As uh, we just showed you her walk, and you are 5'8", and you know, Pageantry Magazine, is looking for models to your height right now. So you have homework to do. I want you to go home and go to pageantrymagazine.com and email Carl with a picture of you because he is looking for your height for gowns for Pageantry Magazine. That's one thing I know that's coming up as well. Also, too, is I want to know a little bit more about you. Tell me about you. What do you like to do? Okay, I like to hang with my friends, go to movies, chill with my son. I like watching other kids. This is your son? Yeah. Okay, wait to see right here. So you're a young mom. Like a, yeah, I can't so you know what? A really great picture would have is for you with your handsome son because they also have kids in you know movies and TV and they'd rather have mom and baby together. Especially Disney likes real families. And I was gonna do rent a husband, you know, dot com because everybody's like divorced, you know. So <laughs> they're just uh, I went to comedy schools so very with me. But anyways, so how old is he? He's four months. Four months old and what is his name? Chen. Would you like him in movies and commercials? He could do pampers and huggies. There you go. Look at him. Say hi. Very cool. The main thing is getting yourself and your child out on auditions. Can you get out on auditions by chance? Yes. Okay. That's a big thing because a lot of people can be talented. They have their pictures, but they say, Don, I can't make this audition and it's a big movie or it's maybe a small part. Even extra work. I've yeah. got three extra agencies I can send you to. Mm -hmm. Again, you need pictures. So the main thing is, all I can stress is pictures, 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 and that's, you know, it's, it's affordable. It's not something that's going to cost you a lot of money, but I know somebody, if I'm going to give my name, it's kind of like the good housekeeping seal of approval. Yeah. I call it the winning at showbiz connection, and that is really important because if I see somebody, I've worked really hard for my name, and you can Google my name, think of Dawn Dishwashing Liquid and Reese's oh. Peanut Butter Cup and show. Now, they would be great potential sponsors because that would help. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to give you back your child here to you. I had three sons. I don't know how I did, but they used to say it goes by too fast and you have two in a stroller. And now I have a Bichon Poo. <laughs> but anyway, so um, what, what was your favorite movie that you saw your favorite actress? My favorite actress? I like Okay, Cameron Diaz, that's good. There's a, there's a thing that you can do as well. You know, you, you just study and watch the, the parts. And if there's a scene in a movie that you really like, I'm going to come back and interview you again. So I want to see something comedy. I want to see something a little dramatic. Just something I know is kind of out of your element because that's not what you really want to do. But for print and TV, that's we've got it down for you in format. And all I can do is post this on YouTube and put this on the networks that we told you that we're putting on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the camera and we're Okay, and we're back. And so, you know, I asked you, what would you do with the money that you'd make in modeling? What would you be, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? You said you wanted to open a daycare? Yes. And what inspired you to do that? Having a child, I like kids. I always like kids. Okay, very cool. So what I'm going to do in just a second, we're going to stop the camera again. We're going to have All right, we're up. Hi, my name is Natasha Eugene. I'm reporting live with Don Reese for the Don Reese Show in Clearwater Beach. That's right. And we're testing you as a reporter. So ask any questions to me that you may have that your inquiry mind wants to know. Because we just first met today through Benny from the Music Factory. How did you get started in the modeling industry? When I got started, I started when I was a baton twirler. And my baton mm -hmm. teacher said, I saw something in your walk. Now, I was a short petite model. And uh, she pushed me to an agency, and I remember my first big agent, uh, she had a major uh, talent scout come in from New York. 
and I had all this work from Kohl's department store and AJ exercise equipment because they wanted petite models for the bikes and everything. I remember taking my portfolio at the time, walking in, the guy goes, oh, you're too short. I went, oh, he's not going to say no to me. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. And I opened my book and I said, look at all the work I've done. And he goes, next. Now, if I would have taken that advice, I'd probably be a flight attendant now for the rest of my life if yes. you see a lot of this, you know. But I will tell you really important, I knew there was a really good agent for me and I found three more agents in Milwaukee at the time and then I took the Amtrak from Milwaukee to Chicago. I started judging beauty pageants and I realized and entering them, it wasn't just for that, for the self-esteem at the time, but it was really to network and find out what the agents and people that were with me. And then I started to manage talent and I realized they would say, who are these who are these gorgeous people? And I said, well, they're mine. Well, Dawn, why don't you manage talent? And I went, you know, good idea. So they were booking things like Kellogg's commercials, um, AJ, you know, more AJ exercise equipment, more other things, Wrangler jeans. I mean, I was getting them work. And then from there, I went to LA and had an office up there and used to cast for some TV shows. And really, Mr. Paul Murray, that's my photographer to the stars, opened so many doors. And the late James Brown, I feel good. I was his entertainment reporter. So I want to tell you that the whole Brown family opened a lot of doors for me. So, and that's kind of how I got my push. Okay, what inspired you to help others? You know, I was ripped off way back when. I was a young mom and I didn't know the business. I didn't go to broadcasting like I did for five years. I'm glad you asked me that question because I've been really wanting to get this out for many years. And I had two best friends of mine in Orlando and they're probably watching this going, you know, maybe they got kicked out because we tried to get them kicked out. But they wanted to help me with a pageant training video series and they were the cameramen. They didn't know how to do anything. So they did all the work with the cameras and I just did what I did. I put my pageant training together. It was a pageant training tape to help you win beauty pageants as a professional judge. Well, anyways, later on they took my video series, they sold it, they put it in some magazines. I never got a dime from them. So at that point, when I was a very young mom at 21, 22, it devastated me and I thought, you know, I prayed about it. I said, I want to do something different. Well, when I went to California after being a talent agent, I went to broadcast and journalism over at Rancho Santiago College for five years. When I won the Best Entertainment Award at the time, my first interview was Rick Springfield and his mom. Rick Springfield never brought his mom on camera. But the cool thing was, is I, I made that whole college happen. And all I can tell you is it just doors open from there. That's a very good question. <laughs> Well, the reason for it, come up with some basic questions, because I always have basic questions. If I got somebody in front of me, and my producer, when he took me for the pre-Grammys in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and I didn't know who they were, now I didn't know Tina Marie, I didn't know half of the people that I interviewed, I didn't even see the book, and he goes, get on camera. And he goes, Dawn, you have one take, and I'm not going to edit, and Paul's probably laughing because I know he's watching this. But the thing was, I got on camera, and I said, well, and you are. I didn't know their name, uh -huh. and I said, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. And I, when Tina Marie told me she had 12 albums at the time, you know, God bless her because she's she has passed on. Yes. You know, but um, she was an amazing woman. And and she just was. to find out basic she questions was. that you just have to ask, very positive. Can people write you on their email? Some say yes, some say no. Are you on Facebook? Are you on Facebook? Can we add you? Um, you know, those are inquiries. Just if you, you only have a few moments before they pass on the red carpet. Yes. Unless we have a sit down with you. And I have a reporter's notebook, I'm glad you asked that, that I put together for some basic questions if you become one of my beauty queen reporters. Okay. The, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a, a drama Okay, and we're back, and I want to thank you so much for coming down here. And we're going to do some behind the scenes. We don't, we're going to do a documentary of watching you succeed, okay? And this is one of, one of our success stories that, you know, we're going to have you at the photo shoot. And anyone that would like to book, you are? Natasha. Okay, and uh, she is 21, you are 5'8", so please call Dawn Rees Show with Home Team Network at 321-420-2501. If you'd like to be discovered on my show, that's what it's all about. And we'll see you with more Winning at Showbiz Connections very soon. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.